Hi guys, welcome to Pointy Not Sharp. Uh, packaging today, so if we do a quick unboxing, let's see what we've got. Ugh. I've got a couple orders coming at the moment, so I've got enough content to um, uh, keep making videos. Okay. He's done a good job packing it. Bloody hell. Thought this would be a bit quicker. I've got a rough idea what's going to be in this one, but I've kind of forgotten what it all is. Like I remember about probably about half of what I've ordered. It's a bit of a surprise for me as well. From memory, there wasn't anything absolutely amazing in this one. It was all sort of, you know, average kind of stuff, but, ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, this might take a little bit longer than I expected. I was only expecting to do a quick open the box and do maybe a YouTube short, but this might have to be an actual video. What's this one? Got a Type 9. Number 4 Type 9. Oh no, it's an Uzi. It's a, one of the Uzi Blade Type 9s. South African. And what about this one? And not knock my camera over, that'd be fantastic. We've got, looks like a socket. Ooh, a fell type C. And looks like a Belgian based on the, um, the frog. A little crack on. A bit of a frog on this one. Got a shiny brown handle which screams Italian, like a BM59 or one of their M1 carbines. I think I've got one of each of those coming. And that's the BM59. Gorgeous. And what's this one? Ooh, another foul, I think. Is it? No. Yeah, it is. Foul uh, A. The first one. And what have we got here? Ooh, Bulgarian AK. AK-47. Very cool. Can't wait to have a look at that in a minute. This one's a bit bigger. Biggest one so far. I'm not too sure what it's going to be. Looks like some kind of Mauser. I think I got a Chilean AD95. It might be that. Yeah, it is. Make sure. Whoa, gross. But yeah, Chilean 1895. It's got the Chilean crest. That blade is disgusting. This would be the Italian M1 carbine. Very similar to the BM-59 in look anyway. Um, what about this one? So I'm getting to the point now where I'm not too sure what the rest are. Ah, I remember this one now. It's a um, Polish AK, uh, AKM Type 1. Apparently, let's check that it is polish. It is. Unfortunately, it's got a gross colored handle. It's not the bright orange I was hoping for. Still. But needing one of these, needs a good clean. Last two. So I know this one will be a 
uh, number nine bayonet, like a proper number five style a blade profile with the bowie tip. No, nope, I'm wrong. Maybe that's the next one. Oh, that, that's the other order, actually. I don't have one of those in this order. Ah, yeah, this is a C7. This is the Canadian version of a um, M7 bayonet. If I can get into it, I'm going to be out of the I've never actually uh, had a look at one of these. I've got a little frog for um, a different bayonet for number four. It's got a yeah Canadian C7. Awesome. So I'll do a video on that one. And lucky last, I literally have no idea what this is at all. As I said, I've got a couple orders coming out once. I have no idea what's in this one. Could be almost anything. Ah, Swiss. Yeah, is it a 1918 or is it... Yeah, it's 1918. That's a shame. I think I ordered a Schmidt Rubin. God, I might not know the difference. It's not in great condition either, actually. It's pretty average. Oh, well. Let's move that box and all the rubbish out of the way. Nice little haul and a couple more videos to come. Thanks for watching.